All right, guys, today we're talking about Velo 3D, one of our favorite super alloy metal printing companies, and they're going public. I swear, everybody's going public these days. Uh, they also got an SPAC merger, this time with JAWS. Yes, sounds cool, is cool. Now, Velo 3D has been raising significant funding recently, and this is the only new entry Western metal powder bed fusion manufacturer to make it all the way into the mainstream, where current industry leaders like GE Additive, 3D Systems, EOS, and SLM Solutions dominate the market. Now, Velo 3D did this by introducing their software run capabilities to significantly reduce or even eliminate the number of supports necessary to 3D print the most intricate geometries, thus making laser powder bed fusion or LPBF a more competitive process with all the other guys. Now, since launching commercially in the fourth quarter of 2018, They've already worked with customers including SpaceX, Honeywell, uh, Boom Supersonic, Chroma Alloy, and even LAM Research. Uh, looks like we actually share a lot of the same customers here at Vision Miner, uh, but we focus mostly on the high performance plastics and metal replacement polymers. Uh, but anyway, uh, these are the guys that do the ink canal, the titanium, even aluminum. And one of their claims to fame is their support free printing process. Overhangs in metal, uh, kind of a big deal. And supports, they have to be ground, smashed, or cut off with other processes after the print's done, whereas Velo can print down to 10 degree overhangs without any supports. Below 10 degrees, you might need support most of the time, but this is huge compared to the industry standard of 30 to 60 degrees. And if you have a plane that's printing with more than one wall constraining it, you can actually do some zero degree overhangs. Not only that, but they can create enclosed domes with an interior diameter of more than 100 millimeters without any supports. Super tough and additive most of the time, but it's the same with horizontal holes. No supports necessary. You can have long tubes going horizontally through an object and there's no supports needed. They also excel at things like conical surfaces, whether inward or outward growing, along with pins and lots of thin walls. And the list doesn't even get close to stopping there. Another claim to fame they have is their free floating parts methodology. Now let's go back a bit to understand this real quick. Metal 3D printing in the powder bed style usually starts out on a metal build plate when the print is fused to the metal. When the print is finished, they actually have to cut the parts off the build plate, usually with a wire EDM or a bandsaw. Now it's printed on the plate because metal loves to warp when it's heated up and when it's warping, you know, it's moving around and it's changing shape. And this is actually what supports are used for in metal is to keep the parts down to the build plate, unlike commercial FDM or consumer FDM where it's actually supporting the weight of the part. Now they had one video that shocked the industry a few years ago and that was Velo pulling a miniature Concorde airplane model directly out of a powder printer, printed it on its tip. Now the ability to print metals not attached to the plate is a huge deal. Another video they did was their titanium bottle openers, just like this one right here. Incredible details, absolutely insane quality. This is titanium. They're going into the powder and just pulling these all out, done, ready to go, good, complete, uh, just really, really cool. So with all these technological advancements going for them, it's no surprise they're getting scooped up by Jaws Spitfire Acquisition Corp. Upon completion of the transaction, which is expected to occur in the second half of 2021, the combined company will operate as Velo 3D and be listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the new ticker symbol VLD. Investors include Piva, a venture, venture capital investment arm of Malaysia's Petronas, Tayo Nippon Sanso Corp, uh, Bensimer Venture Partners, Playground, and Coastal Adventures. Now, Velo 3D said at the time that the fresh capital will help it reach sustainable profitability by mid-2022, just next year. Now, Jaws Spitfire raised over $345 million in a December IPO and said that they expect to focus on growth-oriented consumer technology and related businesses. Even tennis legend Serena Williams is on the board. Now, SPACs have been seen as a cheap way to go public until just recently and they've been they've been booming recently after desktop metal became the first 3d printing company to announce such a deal and they proved that it could work well to raise capital and rapidly implement an expansion strategy and they were followed almost immediately by their fiercest competitor mark forge and a number of other companies in the space and 3d printing industries really big opportunities as the world goes through a covid crisis accelerated change in global supply chains and business 
Now, the transaction will value the combined company at an enterprise value of approximately $1.6 billion. After the smoke clears, Velo3D will not only be publicly traded, but also have $470 million in cash reserves, with which they'll be able to do many things. By the way, if you didn't already, if you enjoyed this content, you can hit that like button and or subscribe. It really helps us out on the YouTube algorithm and we really do appreciate it. it. Helps us make more videos like this for people like you. Check out all our materials and our machines at visionminer.com. We've got a huge selection of engineering filaments and a rewards program and everything you need, accessories, tools, etc., to get into the high temp, high performance polymers and industrial 3D printers that we specialize in. If you've got any questions, definitely reach out at visionminer.com. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.